there are two main categories of muscle fibers, and I'm going to break one down into two um, like subcategories. The main thing to look at first would be slow twitch and fast twitch. Slow fibers actually contract more slowly. So that's these ones up here. So these would use, uh, they're, they're red because of myoglobin. Myoglobin carries oxygen. Um, these are going to be aerobic. They're gonna use aerobic respiration. That means they are very fatigue resistant. because they can make a lot of ATP. Abbreviation there. Um, they, we'll start with that and I'll come back. Um, these down here are gonna use anaerobic respiration. These are white fibers. Um, they actually look white because they have less myoglobin. They are very strong. They're actually larger fibers, um, large diameter. So they're strong, but they fatigue more quickly because they can only make two ATP um, from, this, from the same amount of glucose that this type makes 32, right? It's starting with the same amount of glucose in either case. It's just whether that mitochondria is able to make um, all those ATPs. Um, so, those are the two big classifications. There are fibers that are fast oxidative. So oxidative, that means aerobic. And anaerobic, the other word for that, is glycolytic. So breaking down glucose, glycolytic. Oxidative fibers also break down glucose, but they don't just do that. They also use oxygen. So oxidative versus glycolytic. Lytic means like to lice. Um, so fast oxidative are kind of an intermediate between the other two. So I like to compare these two a little more specifically, and then we'll look at kind of the intermediate one. So um, obviously we're thinking of fast. It's going to be actual fast contraction. So quick, I'm gonna write this up here, I have more room. So we've got fast glycolytic. These are going to be quick to contract. They actually, the myosin heads move more quickly and cycle those cross pitch cyclines more quickly. Um, that myosin ATPase is actually more quick um, using anaerobic glycolysis, which is quick. Um, they're going to have low myoglobin because they don't need it. They don't, that's going to carry oxygen. That's what myoglobin does they don't use much, much oxygen. Um, and they're gonna have high glycogen storage because they need to use a lot more glycogen to get the same amount of energy from that. So this is why they're white, um, the low myoglobin. high glycogen storage. Um, and they're gonna be fast to fatigue, right? Which I have down here as well. So they're gonna be best for um, sprinting, intense, quick, short activities, powerful weightlifting, resistance training, that kind of thing. Uh, the other thing I said already was the fibers are larger um, the fibers are going to contain fewer mitochondria. Um, that should make sense. Fewer capillaries. And then the other extreme of this in, how about a red color? So here is our slow oxidative. 
I've already told you, these are fatigue resistant. They use anaerobic, I'm sorry, aerobic respirations. They use oxygen. Um, this means they're going to be slower to contract. The ATP ACE um, on the myosin is actually slower, but they're also fatigue resistant. They're going to have high myoglobin, makes them red. They need to store oxygen so that their mitochondria can use it and make ATP. They do not need a high amount of glycogen. So it's lower glycogen stores because they're able to make a whole lot of ATP out of less glycogen. And what else? Um, so they're best for endurance activities. So things where you need to have fatigue resistance, um, running a marathon, even posture, a lot of your posture muscles. Um, and they're gonna have then more mitochondria, more capillaries, um, and their smaller diameter. That's actually also important for oxygen to be able to get to the, the whole muscle. There's one other kind of muscle that's fast oxidative. This is one type of intermediate fiber. There's more than one intermediate type. Um, this is the one that's you know, talked about um, the most, I guess. Um, so these are going to be kind of intermediate. They have moderate amounts of um, glycogen and they use, as the name suggests, they use aerobic, so oxidative, but also some anaerobic. So they're gonna have a moderate amount of um, myoglobin and um, glycogen. They're going to need quite a bit of myoglobin because they're going to have to um, mostly do a aerobic. That's why they're called fast oxidative. Um, these are important for sprinting, walking kind of things that require some power, but um, still offer some fatigue resistance. So really one of the intermediate types. Um, here is one more picture I wanted to show you that compares these slow twitch. So these slow twitch would be oxidative or aerobic and fast twitch would be um, anaerobic. So the fast twitch, right? This is anaerobic. And this is good for short, fast, um, sprinting, lifting heavy things. And this is what those muscles might look like, a cross-section of individual muscle, muscle fibers. Most of the muscle cells in, um, in this muscle would be white. Long distance running, the opposite. We've got more that are aerobic. And the other part about this is that um, these can be conditioned. So you actually can, um, with distance exercise, you will increase the number of slow twitch you know, aerobic fibers that you have. And with a lot of sprinting um, in a given muscle, you will increase the proportion of white anaerobic muscle fibers you'll have. So a long distance runner is going to have more anaerobic um, slow oxidative fibers than a sprinter is. So that is a plastic thing that can be um, changed as you use your muscles.